So in this classic uh, paper by Stevens in 1946, he came up with these four distinct categories uh, or types of variables uh, because there are different types of things we can do with these kinds of variables. I know this font is a little fuzzy and hard to see. I purposely cut and paste this table from Stevens 1946 because I think it's an important paper. Uh, everyone should read it. Um, I won't go through the whole, whole slide. You can look at this at your leisure. The point is that uh, a variable of type, say, nominal, um, only allows us to do certain things. It only allows me to say, are two entities equal or not equal? So are you, are you from the same country or different countries? So if I take two students at random from this course and I just know this nominal variable country of origin, all I can do is say, are you from the same country or are you from a different country? I can't do it, say anything about greater than or less than. I can just say, are you from the same or different? Uh, that's, all, that's all nominal variables allow us to do. As you go down this, this uh, list, you'll see as you go from nominal to ordinal to interval to ratio, you're allowed to ask more and more questions of your variables. So for ordinal, I can ask not only are you the same or different, but I can ask are you ranked higher or lower? So do you come from the same or different countries? And does your country have a greater than or less than population than the other student? And so on. With interval, I can ask questions um, about how, by how much are you different, right? If I just have rank orderings, so if you're just, if all I know is you come from the country that has the greatest population, and then I know that you come from the country that has the second greatest population, I can not ask, well, what's the difference in population? That's what interval and ratio variables allow us to ask. Just another example, perhaps a little more intuitive, think about the, the uh, pe people who are running a race or uh, swimming against each other in a swim meet. You know, you can get first place, second place, third place. Like in the Olympics, you get the gold medal, you get the silver medal, you get the bronze medal. If all I know is the rank ordering, that's the ordinal variable. Just first place, second place, third place. Who got gold, who got silver, who got bronze? If that's all I know, then I can ask, well, by how much did the winner win? So was it a really close race between first place and second? Or was it just a blowout? So the person who won was way ahead of the person in second. If all I know are the rankings, if all I know are the ordinal variable, then I can not answer that question about distance. But if I have their time, say it's a running race or, 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 a, or a swimming competition, um, if I have time, that's a, a ratio variable, there's a true zero, then I can ask questions about, well, by how much did the winner uh, come in first place over the second place finisher, and by how much did the second place finisher come ahead of the third place finisher, and so on. So as you go down this list, you're able to ask more detailed questions. And so in statistics and in this course, we're gonna strive for variables uh, that give us that interval or ratio scale. We can't always do that, um, but ideally we'll use interval or ratio variables because they're the richest in terms of information. They allow us to ask the most in-depth questions of our data.